new iPads finally shipping and we have the date. Welcome to the All Future Podcast, where we talk all things tech, AI, everything throughout the week. If you're enjoying this podcast, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And today we're talking about what's the latest for Apple. We've seen a couple like undercover releases lately where they just <laughs> drop things. And it seems that's what they're going to do this time around. Uh, what's the latest product we're hearing about, Matt? So iPads, 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 iPads. We talked about these a couple weeks ago, I think. But now we have some more concrete information. They're evidently on the boats coming over from Asia uh, to America. And we're expecting Apple to have their launch announcement on March 26th, probably very soon after this video <laughs> goes up. So yes, it, it's soon. coming. Yeah. What we kind of know about them, it's a bigger refresh is kind of the rumor. Mm -hmm. Headlines for it, new size for the iPad Air. So they're not just going to make the standard size iPad, but also a bigger model akin to the iPad Pros. 12.9 inches. 12.9 inches, yes. I the, think that'll be extremely popular. I have no doubt that this will be popular and yes. may become the most popular iPad even. Mm -hmm. um, I know that a lot of people, especially here in America, will just associate bigger is better and want to get the bigger one. But I think there are a lot of use cases right now where the bigger screen makes sense. Mm -hmm. I've, I've talked about this before, that the iPad has really become kind of a hybrid laptop device in many ways. A lot of people use them in keyboard cases and then just pull it out the case when they want to use it as a tablet. And in those situations, bigger screen works, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about buying any of these? And are you thinking about getting a, the bigger one if so? Well, I currently use a normal iPad Air mm -hmm. around the house, kind of, and then I use an iPad Pro, uh, kind of more on the pro side of things. Like I'm using <laughs> well, it to a professional? <laughs> look at notes right now. I'm using it. I use it for music. I use it for other things, and I like the big s screen size for that. So I I have that. I don't have the need. Uh, they might convince me with the OLED iPad Pro, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about more in a mm -hmm. second. But there are certain use cases where it's like you just want the bigger tablet screen, but you don't want to pay all that money for the Pro because mm -hmm. you don't actually care about the refresh rate and all this stuff. And so I think for a lot of people that jump from normal air to Pro was a ton. So normal air to larger air will make a lot of sense. I don't think I have a need for the new iPad Air. I'm curious to see what all comes from that and the new iPad Pros. A few more differences too, uh, which maybe will sway you over. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is also uh, coming to the Pro models, kind of the biggest change people keep talking about is the change of the location of the camera system. Oh yeah. Instead of being on the side, being up at the top, Again, so it mimics better a laptop screen, I think. Mm -hmm. And we talked about this when we talked about uh, the initial rumors of this. It makes sense probably for most people's use cases. I mean, there's an iPad sitting right here and it's sitting on the stand, you know, like it's mm -hmm. sitting horizontally. That seems to be how people use their iPads a lot, especially if you're using that camera. If you're on a call, if you're on a video call, you're probably docked, you're probably on a stand. Yeah. Being at the top makes a lot more sense. Is that how you use, I think you're, you have a normal Pro? I do, yes. I have the, the normal size Pro. A lot of the times it's in this horizontal position. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, magic keyboard case, whatever you want, yeah. the trackpad case, right? Yeah, it feels like a laptop a lot of times. And if I'm on a call, yeah, I'm in that position. Usually cause just, it just makes more sense. That's how it stands up, yeah. you know? Uh, Otherwise, it's just vertical with right. with the little corner of it, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Which is kind of, kind of weird. You see, there's kind of a little evolution of of the iPad. The original pitch for the iPad is much more hold it like a book. It's a vertical orientation device. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it would you know rotate the screen ninety degrees. But the original iPad keyboard docked it vertically. You know, so, so you had like a full size Mac keyboard and a space to dock your iPad vertically, which is interesting. I thought that was kind of a and for some things that maybe make more sense, right? Writing mm -hmm. a document or something, it's better to be organized like a page. I yeah. think that was a lot of the vision of it initially mm -hmm. was, oh, it's it's like a book that's all books ever kind of thing. Yeah. But now that people use it, like I said, become much more this hybrid kind of device. So that, that camera change makes a lot of sense to me. And that's not the only thing. Also updates coming, including one of your favorite things, the best chips for AI. Ooh, M3? <laughs> M3 chips nice. on the Pro model and then M2s on the Air model. Mm -hmm. So cool. Cool spec bump. And we'll see what they're actually able to do with those chips. M3 chip on an iPad. That's a lot of computing power sitting on an iPad. Definitely. You know, it's the equivalent to what's on a MacBook. So you can do a lot of stuff with it. So mm -hmm. we'll see what's going on. And that's one of the more kind of notes of the newer rumors is that what they're essentially what they're waiting on once these devices get here and maybe it, and that the announcement may or may not happen March 26 and why they're maybe aren't doing a full event for it 
So wait, no, software update. iPad OS 17.4. There you go. There you go. What could that possibly have that they need to run on a new iPad? Yeah, I don't know what it could possibly need. Uh, there is a rumor that they're going to have MagSafe wireless charging compatibility mm -hmm. here. So maybe there's some way that yeah. they have a stand that they're going to make compatible with that. Or this new Apple Pencil is rumored mm -hmm. to have something you seem to doubt completely, which is color sampling <laughs> yeah. on the end of it. Maybe that requires software they oh, haven't yeah, yeah, finalized definitely, yet. Both those things definitely would require some kind yes. of OS. Up, right? So it's interesting, though, that they could be ahead on the hardware but behind on the software. I, I think that's interesting on, on an Apple side of things. Yeah, but. yeah. And, and, you know, what, maybe they're always, like, right at this, you know, mm -hmm. down to the wire, and we just don't know. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about some things that might be in this that need the OS update, the MagSafe thing, mm -hmm. which when we talked about this before, we're like, what exactly does this look like? And the thing is that most people describe it as wireless MagSafe. So not as a MacBook style where the cord detaches, but more like an iPhone thing where it sticks yeah. to the back of something. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a stand with the MagSafe built into it and all of a sudden your, your brand new you know, essentially 13 inch iPad Pro is your monitor, is you know, it's mm -hmm. your, your whole device and you put it on the stand, it starts charging iPad already has mouse, keyboard, trackpad support, so all that's built in. You can have a little computer, pick it up, pull it off the stand, and go. And it makes that little sound. A very satisfying click sound. Exactly. Yeah. That seems cool. Like, do mm -hmm. you do you can you see that kind of? Like... I could see if they have that, and they have like a good example of a stand or something. That might convince me. And the stand will be two hundred bucks or something, yeah, yeah. and I don't know where I'd put it. But that is a very cool concept, I think, and very good, easy, quick like come and go with that iPad and use it everywhere you need it. I could see something, and we've talked about this kind of before. This is off camera talk. We were talking about smart home kind of integration stuff mm -hmm. and the idea of, you know, you put the iPad on the wall and it can kind of be your screen control things. We're talking about this in reference to Apple maybe making a HomePod with a screen, mm -hmm. but I can also see this kind of cool thing where you're kind of throughout your house, you've got your little MagSafe panel or whatever, and your iPad can kind of live on the wall and be in a smart home thing. But all of a sudden, you want to grab it for a FaceTime call in the next room. You pull it off the wall and hook it to your little docking station that's in mm -hmm. the living room, right? You kind of have these docking stations around the home. Yeah. And they just and magnets in, magnets off. That seems pretty slick. It does. Very slick indeed. <laughs> Very slick indeed. <laughs> the main thing for the iPad Pro is the OLED display. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. They'll have some way to show us how this is the best iPad display ever. <laughs> Um, of course, it would be when it's OLED and all of that mm -hmm. stuff, but I'm curious to see that. And then reportedly, Samsung is the exclusive supplier of those displays. Don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I, I guess we'll see. Yeah, kind of kind of standard. I mean, it's not yeah. like crazy, right? But it is interesting. It seems these accessories are going to be a big part of it. That Apple Pencil, possibly a new Magic Keyboard. Mm -hmm. But on the other side of things, accessories that are separate from the iPad, there are some new rumors about the upcoming AirPods 4. Ooh, AirPods 4. Yes. Yeah, I feel like AirPods probably one of Apple's most popular products for them with probably great, great margins considering mm -hmm. I think AirPods Pro costs like 250 bucks or something like yeah. that, right? It can't possibly cost them nearly that much to manufacture this. Yeah, upgrades coming to that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like they upgrade these things regularly. I don't know if there's anything that I need in my AirPods that's not already there. Like, can you think of like what's a killer upgrade they could put in these things? Well, that's what's interesting here is it seems like it's going to become another one of those situations like kind of where the iPad is right now. Soon there's going to be an iPad, an iPad Air, a large iPad Air, mm -hmm. an iPad Pro, and then a large iPad Pro, iPad as well Mini. as iPad Mini. Yeah. And it seems like they might be doing that with this AirPods upgrade because these aren't the AirPods Pro. These are the normal AirPods version 4. And apparently they're going to have a new design and a better fit, better sound quality, updated charging case with USB-C. But then the higher end ones will get active noise canceling and then a speaker in the case for Find My Location. So exactly. Exactly what the Pro model has. Ex that's are they, and they're not going to call this one Pro. They're going to be like, yeah, this, other AirPods. Like these are reportedly coming this year, okay. and then AirPods Pro aren't getting an upgrade until next year. So it's again going to be like that thing where I could get this or I could get this, and they seem fairly similar. So it is a question of how will these distinguish from the AirPods Pro and mm -hmm. not just wipe them out. I guess. What yep. is the difference in your mind? Yes, yeah, so this is crazy, right? Because AirPods have been inching their way toward AirPods Pro for a little bit now. Like the last update of them 
made the design a much more pro looking design. It put in that kind of elongated case and the actual design of the pods themselves, mm -hmm. much closer to the pro model. The difference being that regular AirPods didn't have the tips, the rubber tips on them. That makes sense that you're talking about them being an improved fit because I do think the current AirPods Pro design doesn't work well without ear tips. I think it is fits a little loose just because of whatever, how it's designed and set up. And obviously everyone's ears in the universe are different, but yes. in general, having a rubber grip holds better than having smooth plastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe they're going to adjust that some kind of way, but you're going to need something, something to differentiate the pros. And I'm like, am I going to pay an extra hundred dollars for rubber ear tips? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You need something else there, especially if noise canceling is on the regular model. It could be one of those weird situations. Like we kind of had that when they launched the M chips, like mm -hmm. you could still buy a fully spec Intel Mac pro. If you're a crazy person that, so could, like <laughs> that could like run less than their MacBook air could yeah. at that time or in certain scenarios, you know, not across the board. And it was like, why are they still selling this product? This makes absolutely no mm -hmm. sense. So yeah, I'm very curious to see these AirPods pro. It could, or these normal AirPods four. Yeah. yeah. Apparently there's two different ones that will be replacing gen two and gen three. Mm -hmm. And the higher end ones are going to have noise canceling, which is like the flagship pro That's feature. That's the one, the biggest reason, yeah. you know, for a lot of people to get the pro. And I do think the noise canceling is great on the pros. I don't mm -hmm. know if you use AirPods, yeah. pro, but the transparency feature. That's great. It's killer, right? Like that's a killer feature. And if you bring transparency to the entry level I, AirPods, yeah, why not just get entry level, right? Mm -hmm. Reportedly, these new AirPods 4 are coming this fall, and then not until next year will we see an AirPods Pro upgrade. But in the meantime, we should be seeing new iPads uh, in less than a week here. Yeah. I'm very excited to see them. Maybe why, we shoot this on Tuesday morning, so maybe it'll happen while we're shooting, so we can yeah. do breaking news. As for those new iPads, are you getting one, Matt? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a new Pro. I, yeah. I'm going to get a new Pro. I Regular size? I think I want to get the bigger size. Ooh. I think I want to get the bigger size. And the reason for this is uh, one, I'm a, a typical privileged uh, person here and that I have multiple <laughs> iPads. So it's like if I was getting one iPad, I'd maybe think of something different. Uh, but I use the iPad mini and that's kind of my, mm. you know, going around reading stuff on doing something quick stuff. That's kind of stand, lives by my nightstand for the most part. But my pro, I primarily do interaction stuff with it, either art or that's where I do a lot of conference calls. It's just easier to move it around. Yeah, I, I think it's time to upgrade, and I think that bigger screen would be cool. So Landscape camera. Landscape camera, and also, I'm a generation back right now with my iPad. It's time to sell, right? You got mm -hmm. that 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 kind of curve line of like, oh, if I'm going to sell it to fund the new one, yeah. if I don't sell it now, it's going to diminish. You need to cost. sell it like today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be, yeah. That's actually, I should put it online today. To sell. Yes. Anyone wants an iPad, hit me up. Uh, <laughs> we'll sell it. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited about it. I'm an iPad guy. I, I'm super into iPads. Uh, yeah, looking forward to to. Uh, upgrade that seems like a at least somewhat substantial and not just kind of a spec bump yeah be ready to hear about the best ipad ever for ai this is it